Hello beautiful people, it's Darren here from Artway Darren with another Art Start DIY class. Well, not a class, well I suppose it's a class, yeah. We're going to make a tribal boho essential oil box. Now I'm using what I had at home. This is an artist cradled wooden board that I've cut in half and this is going to be the basis of my box. I've taped it here to make it easier to put on my hinges on the back and I'm just measuring to place those in the right spot. You can see there I'm using recycled hinges, that's what I had to make this little tribal box. Now I did use a screwdriver, um, sorry, a drill that was a little bit too big so what I ended up doing is using this little trick where you put a little bit of wood glue in and a toothpick and then put your screw in and trim off the toothpick and that makes it wide enough like the, the toothpick fills up the hole basically so you can use that with any place where you've got to sort of tighten a screw and it's the holes too big um, just use a little stick of this wood and it will make it fit on to the next bit I've looked at the front and thought oh okay I've got my paint sticks because this I'm using what I have and it fits two and there's sort of a little bit of a gap. You could probably put three on, but you'd have to trim the other board down. And I really didn't want to mess around with my um, saws and things. Um, so I just used a bit of glue and a bit of hot glue, uh, sorry, a bit of wood glue and a bit of hot glue to join these on the front. And I sort of position it so there was the same amount of gap on each side. Excuse me, getting over bronchitis still. Okay, so next we've stuck these on and I'm going to put a little bead on the front as a clasp to keep it closed. Oh, just with a little bit of rope as well. I'm oh, just checking the size so to make sure it does actually fit essential oils. And it does. I probably should have done that first, shouldn't I? Anyway. Just using a bit of square dowel here just to make a little division and then decide to use some macrame cord just to make the little closure in the front with a little wooden bead. Next we're going to paint the box white and I didn't think you needed to watch me do that because I do want to use this uh, little chevron napkin that I got from Wedding Flowers I think uh, on the top so if you use any one ply napkin which you split it apart and get it down to one ply it is very see-through and the brown of the box would have shown through so that's why I painted it white first and I'm only doing this on the top section now I'm not great at this kind of decoupage uh, take a, a note from the lady over at the DIY stroke she does it really well um, what she does is just puts a very thin layer of uh, medium down and then puts, a, puts it down with a sponge as well. So don't put that top layer of um, medium over it until it's dry. So I'm measuring the spot here to get our clasp and I've painted that little bead black as well. And these little half rounds from Amazon. Now how I position those on, I actually drew a little line halfway down on the back of them so I could actually get it really even and then put the ones on the outside first then the ones on the inside. And so that sort of hangs down over that little gap as well. And then when I finished putting that on just with hot glue, I put a little bit of black paint just on that back. I mean you won't see it but you know, details always makes it look more finished. So here we go with our little bare tribal uh, plaque that we're going to put on the top. My, this is for my husband, this box, it's for his essential oils, so I wanted to give him a little bear plaque because his nickname's Bear. So uh, we're using this, it's uh, based loosely on a Hopi Indian bear. Uh, no, it's not, what do they call it? cultural appropriation. It's a cultural appropriation if you remember past life as a Native American. I'm not sure. Okay, but here we go. I've just painted it white. If this is just a coaster from Spotlight, 
uh, the little make your own coasters, these little rounds. I'm using a stamp here of a triangle that I've carved and I just want to show you here that you don't have to actually know how to paint um, be a great artist to actually make something really beautiful so here I'm showing you I'm using little um, stencils this was from Wish I think for ages ago um, <laughs> reflection I should have just painted this with a, a, a very fine paintbrush um, it's called a rigger which is the right paintbrush to make these sort of marks uh, but I did want to show you using stencils and stamps uh, so that you you know anybody can do this now I've got a little um, a little picture for you to use if you want to use the bear stamp um, that's on my website the what are they called? They're called links. <laughs> the links are down in the description box. Just drying that off a little bit with a heat gun and then I'm going to go, I'm going to show you how I fix this because oftentimes with creativity it's knowing how to fix problems. So here you've got black everywhere. Now if you just put a little bit of white over the top of that it's not going to cover it. It's You're still going to see it. So there is a couple of layers on here. The other thing as well is if you put white over black you're going to get sort of a ridge so what I end up doing is putting quite a thick amount of white on and then spreading it out through the middle so you don't get that ridge on the edges it doesn't matter so much if you get a ridge but on that inside curve you want it to sort of be smooth so here I am fiddling with all <laughs> oh, fiddling away but I'm just showing you it is possible now this is the ridge this is what I wanted to show you so see I'm just blending it away so you don't get that line oh, that makes it look just a little neater and a little more finished and going through and just I end up going through correcting white then I go back again correcting black and you'll see just it takes a little bit of time if you are going to do this I would really suggest the rigger brush which is this brush that I'm using here it's a very uh, long brush that gives really beautiful straight lines as you can see I would have just you know had it done in five seconds just painting black lines on but as I said I wanted to show you the stencil and so that's what I've done This is a stamp that I've carved. I've also got a drawing of this if you want to carve your own stamp as well. Uh, it's just a little leaf pattern with some dots and using a turquoise blue colour. I think it's just called light blue from Liquitex, this colour. To give a background, again, showing you with the stamps just uh, how easy it is to make a painting without actually painting. See, I start fiddling with the background again, thinking, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to clean it up with white, which I do. Showing you again that you can just clean things up as you go. And then getting our black bear. And you can see I'm putting the paint, acrylic paint on with a cosmetic sponge, just to get an even coverage. Now, as you see, if you like this kind of look, you can leave it just as that. At that, to me, it it didn't really. It's not dark enough, basically. So I've got some white just uh, touching up that inside section there. This represents uh, wind for the bear. It's a wind bear, an air air bear. going through and adding this little white marks and then I'll go through in a second with the blue as well and black to darken the bear. Now here I'm using a small flat brush and these are really good for getting straight lines, lots of edging as well.
on to the top and Eric's um, initials on the front there just putting his oils in and I decided I wanted to put feet on it now I've painted them black these large squares and then I've, I've left one side of it blank where I put the Gorilla Glue and I look at it and I go no you know I really don't like this and I pull it off and it pulls half the bottom off with it see like that so then I had to go and put a piece of felt to cover that up so again always problem solving with your craft projects and no one can tell the difference now so here it is in the lounge room Eric burns his oils I hope you enjoyed that project please join me again for another art start DIY or art class and I'll see you next time thanks so much bye now through and through no limit to what we